Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. Today is Monday, and Mondays I've been doing a series of profiles of fish I keep in my aquariums. So today we're going to have a look at the Colombian shark. So stay tuned and I'm sure you'll learn something. The Colombian shark is known by a number of names. Black fin shark, silver tipped shark, West American cat shark are but a few. They are actually catfish and not sharks at all. They're from the Aridae catfish group that live in marine waters all over the world in tropical temperature zones. This genus includes 143 species. They are beautiful sharks and are quite popular at pet stores. These little sharks are sold usually between two to four inches. They will reach their maximum growth within two years, attaining a size of 10 to 12 inches. Although they have been known to grow much larger, reaching up to 20 inches in some home aquariums. They are a commitment as they can live up to 20 years or longer with proper care. The Colombian shark originates from South and Central Americas in rivers and estuaries that run into the ocean. You will find these handsome fish sold from freshwater aquariums in the pet stores. However, they are a brackish species. The young are more tolerant of freshwater as they are born into freshwater. In the wild, however, they soon find their way to brackish water and then full salt water as they mature into adults, only returning to fresh water to spawn. Their bodies are long, sleek, silver in color, with a broad head and wide mouth. They also have large, attractive eyes that protrude slightly from their heads. They have three sets of barbells, which are their whiskers, one set on the upper lip and two on the lower. These long whiskers and large high dorsal fin give them that classic catfish appearance. Their dorsal fin is equipped with a venomous spine, so care should be taken during tank maintenance. Living in rivers where fresh water meets salt water, they are used to strong currents. When setting up their tank, keep this in mind. Their biotope is soft sandy substrate with plants and plenty of rocks, creating caves that they can hide in. Because of their potential growth, the minimum aquarium suggested is 70 gallons for one. If you have more, you'll need a larger aquarium. Now I have four, so I am hoping to get a 110 eventually for them. The Colombian shark is a good eater. As scavengers, they eat pretty much anything offered. Suggested foods are sinking catfish pellets, earthworms, small fish, bloodworms, brine shrimp, and a good source of algae. They have a voracious appetite, and if they aren't fed, they will harass their tank mates. They are a peaceful species, but will eat pretty much anything that will fit in their mouths so smaller tank mates are not a good idea. While they are small, you can home them with fish similar in size, but eventually they will need to have a tank of their own. Breeding these sharks is not often successful as they return to freshwater to spawn. The female Colombian shark will lay around a hundred large eggs and the male will pick them up and mouth brood them until they are free swimming, protecting them from harm. You know, the whole brackish setup is very new to me and I'm finding it very interesting and enjoying the whole process. As you can see, these little sharks are continually on the go, never stopping for long. They are so much fun to watch and I'm so happy to have them. But there must be some thought put into the commitment that they require when purchasing them. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. I hope you had a wonderful day. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.